hello everybody if you have landed to this video randomly then or maybe if you have landed to this particular video while you were searching for this particular problem statement so i understand or i assume that you already have clarity on the problem statement so i'll directly take you to how to solve this thing right so uh, still i'll just give uh, let, let me just give you a quick context of this thing here we uh, we will be learning two things number one how to merge more than one data of course the, if we are doing the merge then there will be more than one data frames so how to merge the data frames basis on more than one column right and number two how to do the merge when common columns have different name right so i will explain both of these two things one by one be with me till the end of this video you are definitely going to enjoy this number one question when we start with the solution for this thing number one question why do we need to merge on more than one column so that's because of duplicate record or based if we are doing the merge basis on one column okay let me show you one uh, example how the duplicate what does it mean actually so here i have created two data frames number one is employee which has these columns id name and date of joining right so in employee data frame we have 11 records and three columns in salary data frame also we have the same number of rows and columns here is a sample of employee data frame and here is a sample of salary data frame now let's try to first merge both of these two basis on id variable so first thing which all let's merge both of these two basis on name variable so i'm just going to say so when you are doing this it is important that you have already imported pandas at least okay now let's start with merging pd dot merge all right and then uh, the first data frame is employee second data frame is salary on we want to merge on name and then how what sort of joining that we want to do so let's say inner i want to do the inner join okay so here we got that but the problem which you see over here there are 17 records right we had 11 records only in both of the tables like you can see 11 records but when we merge it is becoming 17 records why because of cross join right so because in each of the data frame we have duplicate names right so that's why it is giving us this many records let me show it to you how can you check the duplicate records it's very simple what you can do is data frame name dot duplicated and subset basis on the variable you want to check the duplicates okay so let's say basis on name i want to check this okay so here you see these records are duplicate now this is just telling you true or false if you want to see the actual value you just do this and here is what you have right so you see these all are the records duplicate if same thing will happen in salary data frame also you see here the salary data frame so this is the, the uh, this is the be, because of this duplicacy we require to do the merging on more than one column so is it a solution if we do over here name and comma id is that going to work sorry this was not correct so you see here it is saying id variable is a problem why is that a problem because in employee table in employee table let me just come back over here. in employee table we have the id variable but in a salary table we don't have that so how to get rid of this how to solve this problem so for that we're gonna say left on and right on so left on let's start with saying left on left table is emp table in emp table what are the variables that we have we have id and name like you can see over here id and name so we are just going to put the same way first id comes then the name is available right then in the right table right table which we have is salary so in salary let's see in salary we have name and employee id 
so let's say write on and into that we're gonna say we're gonna say because here first column which we are taking is id and against id we need to use employee id so first you would write to through this thing you would require to do this thing because you want to join id with the employee id right so just be careful about this particular thing okay now we are done with this now when you execute this it is saying invalid syntax because of this challenge all right now here we got that here we have nine records now you if you are wondering we had 11 records why we are getting only nine because it's an inner join so whatever is common in both of the table that will only come over here right so you see how did we do the merging basis on more than one column and that too with different column name so i just hope that it was helpful for you you also saw how to figure out the how to find the duplicate records thank you very much for watching the video in the next one we will cover another topic about the merging thanks